Hey, this is Brother Jeff. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to visually update some of the things inside of Adobe Edge Animate templates here. If you navigate to the activities, go down to Edge Animate Interactions. This is how you get the different interactions. Now, whether you download this for the project files or whether you download it in the template, it's going to be the same way once you have it open up inside of uh, Edge Animate. If you want to know how to import the template file, refer to another video that we have with working with the template file. But here I'm just going to download the project files and I'm going to open up this folder inside of Edge Animate. So if I just double click on it, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit by hitting Command or Control minus and that will zoom out so I can see everything. <clears throat> now we have a couple different things. We have the background that we can come in and we can visually change. Now if you scroll down to the symbols here inside of the library, anything starting with the letter Z allows you to go in and visually update uh, this object. In this object you can change the colors or you can change the color for the up state of the buttons, the down over state of the buttons, and the down state of the buttons. For now we're just going to go into the background movie clip. So we're just going to double click on the background movie clip. And this is the same background movie clip, same way you would change it for all the interactions. So we have two different objects. We have the texture and we have the color back. So the color back is what controls our color. So if you select on that, then navigate over to the properties and select not the first object. The first object is just a solid color. The second object is the gradient color. So if I just select on that, <clears throat> you can see that we have the radial gradient selected and the radial gradient. Here's our two different colors. We have white to kind of a, a, not a dark gray, but a light gray. And so we can select on any of those to change the color. So let's change it to the dark red and kind of a lighter red. You can see that our texture is still visible, so I can select anywhere. And if I wanted to, I can just go ahead and delete that texture or I can bring in another texture from the library. So if you go into the template library, go down to backgrounds. <coughs> these are all different textures that you can choose from. If I select on one of these textures, you can see that we can download the 720 by 540 and uh, then you can bring those inside of Edge and just replace it right here. But for now, I'm just going to lock it back up. You unlock it the same way just by clicking on that lock button. And now if I come back into the stage area just by hitting the stage uh, breadcrumb up on the top, you can see that our background is now changed to a dark red. So it gives us a, a different feel to it. If I hit control enter, there's the dark red and the texture behind it as well. So let's say I wanted to update the button. So I want a different reflection or a different, uh, different image for that button. Now you can change one button color like the up state, the over state, or the down state in one area and it will change it for all seven buttons in this case. Or in other templates inside of the template library. <clears throat> Let me go back to one of those. So going down to Edge Animate Interactions. So if I update um, one image for one of these tiles or update the up state for one of these tiles, it will automatically update it for all 24. So you don't have to do that for every single one of them. So in this case, I'm going to come into the uh, the Z BTN stands for button up state. Just double click on that. And there's our button right there. Just go ahead to the gradient. It's a this case it's a linear gradient. So you can see which one is select there. Let's go ahead and change this to kind of a blue gradient. So we're going to start out with a lighter blue up on top, come down to the bottom. <clears throat> now we're going to have a darker blue on the bottom. So if, to go back to my stage, I just hit the stage uh, breadcrumb on the top of black bar here. And now you can see that all seven of my buttons have already changed with the up state. So if I hit control enter, now all seven of my buttons are now blue. But the up state, when I hover over it, is uh, the same color. So if I want to change that, let me just go back into the library here. I'm going to double click on the over state here select that object and now let's select a different gradient. So let's select more of a green gradient. Go back to my stage by selecting stage and hit control enter or command enter. Now if I hover over all my buttons are now green. So it's a nice way to kind of get your color scheme, uh, how you want matching your company and uh, to really do it within just a few button clicks. And then the down state, <clears throat> if you double click on that, select on the down state, come over to my linear gradients, and let's switch this over to more of a yellow. And 
and you can enter in the RGB colors, the hex values, or HSLA, or you can just use the eye color picker as well if you wanted to uh, sample it from some part of the stage. Uh, now the down state is actually, you can see that you can only see it when you're holding down the mouse button, but if you're actually uh, on an iPad, you're never going to see the up state. You're only going to see the down state. So you may want to have it somewhat of a similar color, uh, but that's how you change that, the buttons. So that's the up state, over state, down state. So if I come back into the stage, the next color I want to change is in the text area. So if I move my mouse, you can see where the text goes. Let's say I want to change this white to a different color. I'm just going to come down to the Z text background. Double click on that movie clip, select it's just a white solid color. Let's go ahead and just change it to kind of a gray color. And now you can see um, our text background has changed for all of our tabs automatically. So we only have to change that in one spot as well. Now you can change the mouse icon. If you double click on the mouse icon, you can see what the mouse does is it just grows to that red and then fades in and then fades back out. So if you wanted to change the mouse in any way, you could do that. And then the faded outline is what's behind that text. It's kind of the border behind the text um, outline. If I come back into my stage, you can see this darkened area around my text. I can change that as well. And that's pretty much it. So if I hit publish, go to file, then publish, come back into uh, my publish folder, go into the web. Now I can just take all these files, zip them up, or um, then basically bring them into any of my authoring tools. And so now it will play with the updated colors right inside of there without me even having to adjust a single line of code or anything like that. And that's how you get started with uh, making some visual changes to the Edge Animate interactions with the uh, eLearning Brothers template library.